come in here and pick two of us. Send one of us out. He does. What? It gets some things there. What? No, on the other side. This? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, it's still there. Gone for far back? Where is he? He's coming. Look at her. What? What are you talking about? Step left, step right. Stop it. Dancing all over the room. Calm down. I am calm. I'm standing perfectly still. You are now, but before you were like a kid in a sweet shop. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Stop criticizing yeah. me. I'm very cool about all this. You're not cool about anything. He should be here. Have you heard anything from him? What? We're in the same room. You heard what I said. <laughs> So why would you just say what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I could hit you several times. Why would he call me? He's more the team leader, officially, anyway. Officially? Ooh, ouch! I'm offended. <laughs> no, he knows the time for meeting, so why would he call? He's always on time. He knows we'll be here. Do you wear that deliberately? But then I wear what deliberately? Your suit. Yes, I wore my suit deliberately, yes. I don't wear it by accident. <laughs> what does that even mean? It means your suit looks cheap. Yeah, well, I didn't wear it for you. No, I think you wear it because you think it's your best one. But I actually think the other one is the one you wear every day. I think that's better. You really are a bitch. Hey! <laughs> You've never liked me. Where the fuck is it coming from? Are we ready? We look ready, don't we? Stupid fucking question. Is he gonna wear that suit? Oh, for fuck's sake. Talk to me, I'm here, look. Why isn't he wearing his best one? This is my best one. All oh, right. Really? Look. <laughs> Your suit will count against you, and Tony agrees. So. All right, I won't make an effort the next time. There won't be a next time. Not for you. I mean, from my point of view, your suit is good news. Your suit is exactly what I want to see you wearing. The makeup won't fully be done. I'll just blend you in. You really are not sexy. I want to say that. You should know that. Thank you, Simon. But your opinion is of the least importance. <laughs> ask where I was born. What did your father do? Why are you suddenly asking me all these questions? You're such a couple of shits. I haven't spoken in what a minute. What did he do? Your dad. I'm not saying. Is it embarrassing or something? I'm keeping my life to myself. Why would I tell you to? You'll use it against you. Against you? Thomas, come on. What is it? Jesus, we're just making conversation. We're just talking. It's a nice thing for us to do. This is what I was saying. You take everything so seriously. I mean, we could just sit in silence if you'd rather. He was a math teacher. <laughs> what? A math teacher? Mm -hmm. What did yours do? He's a surgeon. What? He still is? He still is, yeah. He said he's not a math teacher anymore, so you mean he's now what? Retired? Dead. Chat. 
Did you? Did you? Look, Thomas, we not only printed out our individual and collective sales figures, but we've completed a full report on this for six months. See? How did you? When did you decide on this? Tuesday, I think. Yeah, we spoke about this. Well, not the fucking figures. The idea that if you work together, you'll be the ones who'll be through, and I'll be the one who'll go. You think there's a plan? That we sat down, Isabel and me, at some point, and said, if we really undermine this little one, this one who has strangely shaped shoulders, if we really <laughs> dent his confidence all the time, then he'll fuck up, and we'll go through. Exactly. Soon Carter is going to come in here and pick two of us to carry on. Send one of us out. You're not staying here in this town. You don't know that? Do you want to know what we both know, Thomas? Do you want to know what we both know? You don't know anything. Just a clever way of getting rid of me. Fine. Mr. Carter, 